Hello everyone, this is John with GetPCSecurity.com. Today we're going to review the Malwarebytes premium security product today and um, take a run through the portal, look at all the features and benefits in the product and uh, and give you our recommendation here. So real quickly, this is the uh, the Malwarebytes premium version. This is the uh, uh, Windows-based version. Uh, works with all the OSs of Windows currently out, Windows 10, 8.1, 8, and 7. Um, so that is the version we're going to uh, review today. Um, the the software does come in a couple different uh, formats. It comes in a one or a two year offering, uh, and it covers either from one or up to ten PCs. And I know if you do the uh, two year subscription, they give a uh, I think a current disc on up to about twenty five percent. At any part during the video here. You're ready to uh, download and purchase the product today. There are links below, which we'll cover at the end. You can go ahead and click and, uh, and start receiving all the benefits of the software today. So uh, we really, uh, uh, let's jump right into the uh, the walkthrough. We really like this product. Uh, Malwarebytes has been out since about 2006. They've been making the product, and it just seems to be getting better every year. Um, a really solid uh, portal here with some great features. When you first open up the portal, it gives you a green check. It says you're protected. Um, you can do a scan now or a uh, scan now right away when you open it. Uh, and there's some features over here you can scan now too. And then it gives you some um, options off to the right uh, to just see what you have um, enabled on the uh, on the software from a real time protection standpoint, your scan status, when your last scan was, your updates are current, it'll tell you if you're current or not current, and uh, uh, what it scanned in the last uh, in the last scan there. So there's a couple ways to access things. We're going to use the left over here. There are some uh, things on the right over here. If you click, you'll get the, to the shortcut to some of these tabs over here. So uh, let's just start down. So this is the main dashboard. Let's click on scan, and scan's going to do a couple things. Um, It'll tell you exactly the summary of your last scan, which are some of the same stats you saw on the on the page before. Um, it'll tell you what it quarantined, uh, if there were any threats that were detected, uh, and exactly the time it took to uh, to scan that. Right, and you got a, some reporting, and you can export the summary down here at the bottom if you want to look a little bit into the detail of the summary and uh, the files that scanned, etc. Okay. Under quarantine, you know, if it, if it found any uh, viruses or, uh, or or files that were harmful, it would put them in here and quarantine them and let you uh, decide whether you want to remove them, repair them, clean them, or delete them, or restore them. So it'll give you those options. I don't have any right now. Um, the report section is um, exactly where those reports are. So there's a couple ways to access a couple different things in here. So there was a back up here, there was a, di a different way to see reporting, I think, down here. And then also in just some reports, you can see exactly um, the full report here as well. All the real meats, meat to this uh, product is down here in the settings tab. And it, there's a couple ways to get to the settings. You can come down and click on it. Or if you go back up here and talk about, um, about protection and click on it this way, it'll also bring you to that same tab. And so in the settings tab, there's about five or six uh, tabs up here. You can see application protection, the scan schedule, exclusions, et cetera, about, which has some support here. So we'll go through each one of them. The application uh, tab has um, basically everything is turned on at this point. And you can restore the defaults if you get very crafty and you just want to go back to the, the defaults that the software came with. But you can go really through here and click exactly what you want to scan and how you want to scan it. So, um, you know, we've got automatically download and install application updates on, of course, uh, notify you when there's updates available. You can kind of read along here. Uh, but you can get notifications in the Windows system tray if there are notifications on updates, etc. cetera. Um, impact of scans on your system, um, event logs, proxy server information, um, you can uh, uh, go ahead and into the Windows Action Center. You could kind of click exactly uh, if you want uh, to always register, never register, um, some of the settings in here, usage and threat statistics. Um, I have that turned on as well. So in the application uh, tab, you've got some very uh, useful um, uh, things around uh, updates and notifications in the application tab. In the protection tab, it really kind of gets into the beat of the product, right? We've got them all turned on, but we've got web protection, uh, exploit protection. We've got all these turned on. You can manage protected applications. So if you want to go in here and turn off certain things or, or we have them all turned on, you can go ahead and do that by application. Close that. 
And then in advanced settings, uh, and I, I haven't done this, but if you're an advanced uh, person and, and want to go through here and really kind of look at some of the memory protection and behavior protection, you could get very detailed and spend some time in here um, clicking on the different uh, PDF readers or browsers and media players and how you want it to, uh, how you want the software to behave. Okay, and that's in advanced settings. We've got malware protection on. You can see ransomware protection. Um, and then you've got to get into scan options, right? Uh, do you want to scan your rootkits within the archives? Um, and just the list goes on here. Potential threat protection. So you could manage your pups and your pums down here. Um, and then how often you want the software to go out and check for updates. You want it to go out and check every, every day, how many hours within the day. Uh, and also then startup. We do have this running on startup, and I highly suggest you do. As soon as you boot up your system, you want it to scan um, some of the memory files, et cetera. So we've got that turned on. But as you can see, you can get pretty detailed here in terms of the uh, protection settings. Okay. The scan schedule is pretty cool. So we have a scan uh, set up in here at KM Standard when we downloaded the product. But if you want to add it, you click down here. And we really like this. This is a great feature. Um, some some security softwares don't get too detailed in, but they really malware buys put frames it up into a nice clean window here in terms of how you want to um, whether you want to do a threat scan, a custom scan, hyper scan, and how often and how frequently you want to do it, what time. So we really like the uh, the scan schedule in here. That was very comprehensive and uh, straightforward. Exclusions, right? If you want to, um, if there were certain, I'll click on add exclusion down here. But if there are certain files or folders or websites or Previously detected exploits you want to exclude, you can do that here and uh, click through here and add that information, those files, websites, etc. into uh, here. This we thought was uh, uh, very well laid out and done by Malwarebytes as well. Um, information about your account is in this section, when it expires, when it renews, when you have to act on it to renew it again. And then the About tab takes you, just uh, informs you about you know the, the version of the software you're running. And then down here, it takes you to the website if you want to go and look at and uh, get more information from the company itself. And then there's some, some ways to get support here. And there's also some helpful guides. We thought that uh, Malware produced some very helpful guides here as well. And if you want to go out to their um, and look at some of their uh, some of their uh, social sites, their blogs, their community sections, uh, they've got a great blog here as well. You can get some further information on their products. So. Uh, we were uh, we're big fans of the product. We love the 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 portal and how nicely well it's laid out here, um, and kind of give it a thumbs up. I've used Malwarebytes before in the past, and it's very uh, a very comprehensive product. Um, and that's pretty much it here, folks, today. So that's the walkthrough on Malwarebytes Premium. Um, if you uh, want to if you want to download and start using the product today, there are some links below the video here, so you can start receiving all the benefits uh, that I covered here in the video of Malwarebytes Premium. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red virus symbol you see in the upper uh, left-hand corner of the video there. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up below as well. And please check out our other videos in channel where we walk through and review other security vendor softwares for both consumer and small businesses. Uh, so that's it, folks. This is John with GetPCSecurity.com. Stay safe, and thanks for watching the video today.